At the beginning of the pandemic, early research suggested high temperatures might be able to kill the coronavirus like other similar yet seasonal viruses. But coming out of a long heat wave with coronavirus cases surging at the same time, is that theory true? Here's KDKA's Royce Jones with what infectious disease experts have to say. Can the heat kill the coronavirus? I spoke to a UPMC doctor who says at this point, medical experts don't think so. However, as we learn more about this virus, that thinking could change. Last week was hot enough to burn grass beds and shrivel shrubs, but there's not enough heat on this planet to kill the coronavirus, says UPMC St. Margaret's Chief of Infectious Disease, Dr. Raymond Ponser. Heat in and of itself, you have to have a higher temperature than we get uh, in our atmosphere. 80, 90, even 100 degrees doesn't kill the virus. Instead, to put the virus on a summer slowdown, Dr. Ponser says it may take a combination of heat, UV exposure, and humidity. He says humid conditions form a protective barrier in our mucous membranes that might help. You breathe the virus into your nose and throat, and when your nose is dry or your throat is dry, it seems that that may make the virus more virulent, more able to infect you. But these are only theories. Dr. Ponser says he has noticed little evidence these conditions could reduce the coronavirus to a seasonal cycle. To better understand COVID-19's next moves, he says researchers are studying patterns of other respiratory viruses like the 1918 flu pandemic that took years to slow down. When it started, it started in the spring and it went through the summer months into the fall with the first wave. It had four waves that went over two years before it settled into a seasonal pattern. So while only time will tell whether or not heat can mitigate the virus, Dr. Ponser says one thing's for sure, social distancing and masking up can. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.